Hello everyone, welcome back to Blackbird Studio. In this video, I'll show you how to set up water in Unreal Engine 4.26. And by the end of the next video, you'll actually be able to set up these water ripples that can actually interact with the environment. So the first thing we need to do is launch Unreal Engine and make a new project. And I'm gonna use the third person example and I'm just going to call it water. And once this opens up, we want to go to, to plugins. If you don't have this open, go to edit and plugins and search for water and enable it. And I'll ask you to restart the editor. So you can do that. So once this opens up, go under arena, the arena folder, select the floor and all those walls and delete them. And then you can just manually, manually select the other objects and delete them. And we wanna do this because in order to add water, we need to have a landscape. To make a landscape, go to modes and select landscape and make this as big as you want. And also a really important thing is to make sure you've enabled edit layers. So this should be true. It should be false by default. And just hit create and you can sculpt this in whatever way you want. I'm not going to. Uh, so go back to select and search water and drag in a water body ocean. And what this will do is it'll cut out um, our landscape and add an ocean. And we can select a spline point and move it around. We can, we can also add a, a um, material for the landscape. So over here I'm going to search sand and under view options make sure you've enabled show engine content and select the sand mesh and it should look like this. Now, if you play the game, you should see water in the distance. And you could make it smaller. I'm just going to make it a bit smaller so that I can actually go to the water with the character. Okay, so now if you want to change something about the, the ocean, you can select the water body ocean up here and double click on this to open it. And the first thing I'm going to do is search for acoustics and enable that. And you can actually see that there is a reflection under the water. So if I turn that off, there's no reflection, but if I turn it on, there is. Um, and this, I always have this enabled because it looks pretty good. And the second thing I'm gonna show you is the water body lake, or sorry, the water body river. And when you drag in the water body river, you'll notice these spline points on it. And if you move the points around, you'll notice that the water moves with it. So you can move it up and down. 
<clears throat> and also um, we can change the velocity of the water by right clicking and go down to water visualizations and click visualize water velocity and then these little arrows will show up and we'll show you where the <clears throat> or how um, what velocity is that so if I increase this number then the arrows will get longer and the water will travel faster and I can do that on any of the points You can also change the river width and the depth and it looks pretty cool. Another thing I'm going to show you is the water body island. So if we drag that in, they'll just make a separate island and we can move it up, down, and again, we can change the spline point position. And also, if we right click, we can add spline point. Right click, add spline point. Now, with this water body island, you'll notice that it's pretty blocky on the sides and it doesn't look very good. So, if we search for curve, and then we can increase the um, curve ramp width, and if we increase that, then it'll become more smooth, and it'll, it'll look much better. But it'll also increase the size. And the water body lake. This will add a lake in your ocean or your um, your landscape. You can also change the spline points on this. Could have a really small lake. And we can also move it up and down. So now that we've made this cool looking scene, we can play it in the editor, and as you can see everything looks great until the player gets in the water, and when they do, um, there, there's no sort of interaction with the water. All it does is distort the player's body under the water, and if you stick around to the next video, I'll show you how to add water ripples.